In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite setups from the Gun Bunch Tight End Offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player, and so if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, if this is your first time, you may not know what subscribe means. Maybe you're new to YouTube. Subscribe basically means to follow the channel. It basically means that you want to know whenever we release new videos. And we release new videos for you to help you every single day here on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, and research has shown me that only 40% of you that are watching this video have actually subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free for you. If you want to support the channel, you can do that by hitting the join button. Members of the channel get other perks as well as the videos. They get some other stuff as well, like different types of chat emojis, badges in the chat and in the, in the streams and things like that. So if you haven't joined the channel yet and you want to support the channel, that's a good way to do it. Okay, guys, so I wanted to break down a just an amazing, amazing, amazing offense for you. Uh, and that is the bunch tight end. Now, I've probably talked about this a little bit, but this is, I mean, this just offense is a blast. It, it, it truly is uh, the best offense in the game. Um, it trips tight end is good. Bunch is good. Spread's good. Bunch tight end is unstoppable. I mean, it is unstoppable. It is that powerful. So we're going to be going over a couple plays with you today. Um, really, the number one play that I want to hit on is I want to hit on X spot. Uh, I think X spot is a super, super important play to go over. Uh, I want to go over two other, th or I want to take a look at two other things while we're pulling this up here. Uh, I don't think I have the mesh play, but we can go over stick. So the play we're going to be going over in today's video is X spot. It's a freaking awesome play. Um, it's it's just very, very effective. So. All you're going to do, the setup is also really, really simple. And this setup is similar to um, a trips tight end setup that, that, I, that we also have talked about a little bit on the channel. But really what you're going to essentially do is this is a really, really good play to complement things like PA boot over, things like curl flat corner, things like um, some of those other plays that we talk about. Okay, So really what we're trying to do is we're trying to essentially... Uh, clear some space, right? So all we're going to do on this play is I'm going to take Tavon Austin and I'm going to put him on a whip route. I'm going to take Valdez Scantling and I'm going to put him on a fade route to the outside. And then the, the tight end is going to go on a streak and the running back is going to go on a wheel route. And then we're just going to motion Adams to the right and we're going to snap him right about here. And basically what you're going to notice here is this route to Devontae Adams will always be open. It'll be open against man. It'll be open against zone. So they have to use her that route. Now, the other thing that you're going to notice is the meta right now in the community is to basically run shaded down man coverage, right? That's what everybody's doing in the community right now. What you're going to notice about this play is this route to table on Austin will oftentimes beat that coverage. It's, it's essentially an unbumpable route. It's, not, it's going to be very difficult for somebody to press this specific route. So because of that the zig now becomes a very very viable uh, option now you could do two things with them you could put him on that zig another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could put him on a slant route okay this is another little feature of this offense that i think is really really effective so you could slant this route and as you can see he beats man coverage to the outside and gets wide open so that's another way that you can kind of incorporate some things. The, the beauty of this offense is it's super adaptable, it's super adjustable to however you want to play it. Because another thing that I personally really, really like to do is that this is one of my favorite setups in the game right here. Leave the spot route and then just do the slant right here. This setup is super tough because that spot route is going to hold a lot of zones. As long as you don't get that, that wedge is happening to me right there, this is going to be super effective. So let me show you that one more time. And again, this is if they have the safeties over top. If they're not, so if you start to notice that they're oftentimes they're they're having safeties over the top, over the top, over the top, that's where it might be a good idea to go to this setup right here. And the only reason why is because again, this route to Devontae Adams gets super open, open super late. And as you can see, you're able to get to the sideline. But now you have that spot route in case you know you need to, to play maker it or something gets you out of trouble. Another thing that you can do out of this play is you can obviously do different things with your tight end. So let's say that, you know, they're they're honoring your tight end route, right? So you don't want to run your tight end on a streak. Maybe you want to run him on a post route or you want to run him on a crosser. You can do both of those things if you have a tight end apprentice. I don't have a tight end apprentice in regs. I just have 
I run with the Packers and regs, um, and so I don't have that. I don't have a tight end apprentice ability, so I don't really do much with that. However, another thing that you can do with this is let's talk about how this works against zone coverage. Now, against zone coverage, this thing is insanely good. It's super, super good against zone. Um, so you have this spot route that kind of sits in the middle. You can high point this and secure catch this all day long. You can do that literally all game if you want to. It's just going to get in a very tender spot if you choose to use that spot route. Now, let's say you're like me and you don't really like to, to use the spot route all the time. Then you can turn him into a fade route. And essentially what you'll notice here, and, and I like to use the whip route when I do that, you'll see that this fade route does such a good job of clearing space, clearing space, clearing space, and then I can basically pass lead up this this post route in a situation where we're you know in just like that right there. So this play this this beats man in zone. And really what it's gonna force people to do, um, especially if they're running, you know, any kind of just standard defense. What you're going to notice is the more that they run those purple zone shades and different things like that that they have to do to kind of hang with the whole offense, you're going to see that this route, and of course, I, I don't know what happened on that curl flat zone uh, right there, but you're going to see that that route to the uh, to the running back, and it might have been, it, I might have my, my zones wrong here, but what you're going to notice is this route to Tavon Austin is going to, it's just going to be simple, but it's going to be super effective because if they're not running hard flats, now you have a very easy window to hit this zig with all of this grass to be able to run and get easy yardage up the field that you can easily do. And you can put him on anything. You can put him on a slant, you can put him on a hitch, you can put him on a zig, anything you want. You don't have to just put him on a zig. Um, that's not what this is about. It's just about, you know, again, picking what works best for you, uh, but that's one of those receivers that you can kind of do a couple different things with, and the more that you do, you know, the, the more different it's going to be. But you'll see here like a slant route, right, coming across, wide open, laser against zone, because that running back pulls the hard flats with him, and then you're able to hit the, hit the, hit the slant route. Now, my recommendation would be if you run a slant route to the receiver on the right, I would recommend running a crossing route to the tight end if you could and I would also recommend keeping the spot route on the field if you do something like that and make sure you don't run your running back on a wheel route those are like the two or three big things put your running back on a swing route but here's a she the the hard flat and right there I threw it I don't know what I did on that but just didn't throw it at the right trajectory but the point is um this thing this thing beats every defense it beats every defense one way and then the cool part about it is you could come back and let's say you run stick right um, now what you've got is you could do something like this, and essentially now from zone coverage, that corner route does such a good job against zone drops and everything that anybody can do as well. So you, you are allowing yourself different tools, uh, different strategies. Another thing that you could do is you could go to curl flat corner and essentially smart route Devontae Adams. And then what I would do is I would double drag in that scenario. I'd create something that looks just like this right here. This play is unreal good against, like, man coverage. They're going to have to use our Devontae Adams. If they don't use our Devontae Adams, it's going to be a dot. And then you have the two underneath routes. So kind of similar concepts all the way through, but that's a little bit about the gun bunch tight end. Now, I wanted to tell you this, and I wanted to show you this because I wanted to talk a little bit about my ebook on the bunch tight end. The bunch tight end ebook is very simple. It's the best offense in the game, and the reason I can tell you it's the best offense in the game is because it's the only offense all season long that I have consistently been able to throw the ball for over 500 and 600 and 700 yards a game. It's my favorite offense I've created to this date. The offense is absolutely insane when you start mixing in some of the other wrinkles that you can do, like this X spot play. So if you want to get the ebook, it's just 15 bucks. For just 15 bucks, you can get the best offense in Man 21. An offense that doesn't require abilities, that doesn't require Hot Route Master, that doesn't require any of that stuff. That you literally just line up and you say, I've got the best offense. Go ahead and try to stop me. This offense is that powerful. So if you want to pick it up, the link is in the description. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and shoot me a message. My number is also in the description. Thanks for watching. We're going to be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. I'd love for you to come hang out. We'll probably be running some bunch tight end. And again, until we see you again, if you want to get that ebook, that full offense is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.